With ten years of hunting for treasures at Blind Frog Ranch Caves amounting to nothing, Dwayne has come up with a game plan to ensure that he finally gets the treasure. Will this work? And can they find the life-changing amount of gold that will restructure history books, taking the place of the biggest treasure found in history? Let's see what's going on. The producer picks him up in Yucatan, Mexico, as they try to track down a world-renowned expert in ancient civilizations. Dwayne's master plan needs this expert as he has stayed in places with tunnel systems like those on Blind Frog Ranch, and he might know a thing or two about what to look for. Meanwhile, Chad and Charlie drove up to the ranch a few days earlier to prepare for the tasks ahead. The Blind Frog Ranch is a few miles from the infamous Skinwalker Ranch, which is also rumored to have supernatural sightings. However, Chad is surprised to see several federal mining claims and tracks all over the ranch, meaning that someone has been in the area without Duane's permission. The ranch has had several claim jumpers over the years as people want to be the first to claim the treasure on the ranch. Chad and Charlie investigate for a while and find a tent-like structure and red tape all around the area. The two investigate and find a lateral hole. Using a camera, they deduce that the jumpers are headed toward the direction where Duane intended to start digging next. Chad and Charlie continue investigating, and they find an RV with several snowmobiles and generators around. Nobody is home, but Charlie knows they will come back. However, the claim jumpers have parked the RV just outside Blind Frog Ranch's property line. They have set up cameras all over the property so they can see what Duane and his team do as they are at a vantage point. Another frustrating thing is that the jumpers have parked on BLM land, so Charlie and Chad cannot ask them to leave. Duane finally arrives at his destination, Ek Bayam, and meets with James Keenan, an American civilizations expert. James researches the lost civilizations like the Aztecs, and he believes that they share similar characteristics with Blind Frog Ranch. Ek Bayam is located in the middle of nowhere, but it has interconnected tunnels underneath that go to various parts of Yucatan. James believes that the same tunnels exist under Blind Frog Ranch. Such tunnels were used to protect people and also store gold and valuable treasures. The treasure on Blind Frog Ranch is approximated to be worth $3 billion. James agrees to work with Duane and promises to join him at the ranch in a few days. Duane reunites with his son and Charlie. The two quickly tell him about the trespassers with forged mining claims. Duane knows that these trespassers are after the treasure he has spent a decade looking for. Duane then tells the two his plan. He has talked to a team with Quantum to help scan the area and see if they can find a more viable entrance to the cavern below the property. The duo had found an entrance one day, but it was flooded. Diving in allowed them to see a man-made structure that, after carbon dating, turned out to be 500 years old. Now, they hope to find a better entrance into the cave. The Quantum team, led by Stephen, arrives at the ranch. Stephen explains how the imaging works by circling a drone all over the property. The team assembles in a field prepared to see what the drone cameras will find. As the investigation is ongoing, a truck is seen approaching the group. Charlie deduces that it is the claim jumpers and walks toward the approaching car. The claim jumpers see the two approaching and quickly drive away. Chad has had enough of the poachers, so he asks his father and Charlie to follow the claim jumpers. They get in two cars, and Chad drives to the RV. The claim jumpers are not there, but are at the hole they had dug illegally. Chad, Charlie, and Duane quickly reach the so-called mining spot and confront the trespassers. They are putting red tape all over the area, insisting they receive their orders from the federal mining company. An argument ensues between the two groups, with Chad insisting that the trespassers leave or else he will have to call the sheriff. The trespassers say that they don't answer questions as they are on federal mining rights, so Chad asks them to call their boss so he can verify what is happening and why they are trespassing. The claim jumpers get into their vehicle and drive a few yards out of the property line. However, they must find a way to leave through that route as the only exit is through the ranch. Chad calls the sheriff's office and explains what is happening since they fear the guys have weapons. Two deputies show up and they speak to the claim jumpers. Unfortunately, Chad and Duane can do nothing for now but file a police report. The deputies drive the trespassers out of the ranch so Duane and Chad won't have to deal with them in the near future. Two days later, the Quantum guys are ready to present their findings to Duane. They have scanned the entire ranch and have found something that is both mysterious and intriguing. They show him an image with red and blue hues, calling it a Doppler shift. A Doppler shift happens when a massive amount of concentrated energy is present. 
like in the eye of a hurricane. The red shift represents energy that is expanding, while the blue shift represents energy that is contracting. The line between the two shifts is like a pump, pulling energy from one side and sending it to the other side. Anthony mentions this is unique as nowhere else on the ranch has this energy. He mentions that he has only seen such a thing in places with black holes. Anthony is horrified since this is only possible in astrophysics and cosmology, so that shift does not belong on the ranch. The shift is located in a place called the energy zone. This place has been the epicenter of many strange things that Duane and his team have experienced. For example, equipment has been known to fail, drones crash, and batteries die so fast. It is also around this area where Duane found the flooded entrance. However, Chad's camera malfunctioned when he was underwater, so he had to be pulled back and the mission was abandoned. However, this is not the only strange thing the quantum team has discovered. Directly under the energy zone, there appears to be a giant keyhole connected to a tunnel. Anthony explains that he is unsure that the image is a tunnel, but based on the pictures, it could be so. Anthony and his team are excited to have witnessed such a thing at close quarters rather than just reading about it. The quantum team leaves, terrified of finding a Doppler shift where it shouldn't be. The ranch team discusses a few things, saying that this experiment confirms everything they have been looking for from the very beginning. It is a piece of the puzzle fulfilled. And it is so interesting to see that their efforts have not been in vain. James shows up and has seen the pictures taken on the ranch. He's pretty excited to see the area for himself and confirm his theory of Aztecs using the caves to hide treasure and protect their families in case of an invasion. However, the news he is about to share with the group sends shivers down their spines as they wonder what they have stumbled upon. James has been studying the map pictures and the images sent over by Duane. He knows that several caves are scattered all over the Uinta Basin and suspects they are linked by one central cave. Now James has seen a natural formation that looks like an individual's head. He believes the profile he identified could be the native god of protection, Tawat. Tawat is mentioned in rare manuscripts and local lore, but has never been authenticated. James explains to the team that Tawat is supposed to be a deity for the native people of the Uinta Basin. They believe that Tawat is their creator or a spirit guarding something. Now, the team sits down to discuss what they have learned so far. Some claim jumpers have been digging holes all over the property through the winter season. This means that people know about the lost treasure on the ranch and are trying to do their best to be the ones to claim it. The quantum team did a thorough imaging of the ranch, looking at the high point and scanning the lower fields to check for the presence of underground tunnels. The plan worked better than they expected, since they not only found evidence of a cave, but also a Doppler shift. The exact location of the Doppler shift is the energy zone, where strange things have been happening. Now James has shown up and shared his own findings. The energy zone cuts through the center of the head of Tawat. Tawat is seen as a protective spirit, so Duane wonders what he is protecting. James has always known about Tawat's existence, but never thought he would find him on Blind Frog Ranch. If this is true, then the group could have stumbled upon a piece of lost history that could reshape you into Basin and its folklore. If you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. All this blows James's mind, and he believes that the keyhole Doppler shift protected by the head of Tawat could be protecting not only the Aztecs' gold, but also centuries' worth of treasure. From the Aztecs who brought gold from Mexico, to the Mormon settlers believed by historians to have mined and stored gold in the area. The question that is on everyone's mind is, how soon can we get down there and find that treasure?